Peter Fry shows improvement for round 60 as the only player bagging five out of six. But it's Kev Lee showing his quality with all six results. Topping his third round of the season on a round where only nine of you broke into double figures. We're now up, now up to 96 players for next season. Huge thanks goes to Stephen Terry on his recruitment drive. Keep on promoting please guys and let's fill those remaining 32 spots. Prize money for the league will be 500, 300, 100 pounds, 500, 200 pounds for the Champions League and 200, 100 pounds for both the Europa League and the FA Cup and an exclusive not for sale t-shirt for each manager of the month. I don't have much time so let's get straight down to business. Manchester United are unbeaten in their last eight Premier League matches, picking up six clean sheets along the way. United have kept a clean sheet in five of their last six Premier League home games. Bournemouth, on the other hand, have failed to score in five of their last seven away games, losing all seven. Easy home win, 3-0. Faltering Leicester City are in the midst of an un, un, a, win, a winless run, stretching back four competitive matches. Though they still boast the third highest goal average in the Premier League, with a 1.88 per game. However, those goals have slowed down in recent weeks and they have averaged just 0.78 across their previous nine competitive matches. Crystal Palace have won four of their previous six, but their attack remains a concern. The Eagles have scored over 1.5 goals in just one of their previous nine matches. The visitors from South London hold a good record in their recent visits to Leicester, winning four of their previous six matches there. Time for the Foxes to bounce back. 1-0 Leicester. <clears throat> Two consecutive 2-0 defeats have stalled Blackburn Rovers' championship playoff push, although they have held out for at least 55 minutes on both occasions. While they have only conceded two league goals all season in the opening 15 minutes, it's now five such games since they kept a clean sheet. They may welcome a return to Ewood Park though, where they remain undefeated in four championship games. Both have scored in 55% of their home league games this term, and with all three of their home defeats coming via a one-goal margin, it's worth noting that the last five league head-to-heads at this venue were also decided by that margin. Table-topping leads have been a mixed bag since resumption, the Whites have not drawn in three away league games, whilst eight of their ten away league wins this term arrived by a one or two goal margin. Adept at protecting leads, they have a perfect league record, 1-10, when scoring first on the road this term. Leads 2-1. Bristol City's promotion hopes took another hit last time out as they finished with ten men and lost 1-0 to extend their winless streak to eight games. They've chalked up as outsiders here, a tag they've often defied this championship campaign. Cardiff City have edged into the top six with their unbeaten post-restart form. However, their recent 0-0 draw now means 40% of their championship away games have ended in a stalemate. The division's second highest percentage. Moreover, manager Neil Harris has drawn his two prior visits to Ashton Gate, 1-1. Registering just one loss from 11 championship matches, Brentford have won four consecutive league fixtures to nil. Losing just one league match when scoring first this season, Brentford are unbeaten in five straight home league matches, claiming shutouts in each of their last two home league matches too. And their last three home head-to-head matchups. Wigan Athletic are on a run of nine games without loss, and haven't conceded in seven championship matches, winning three straight championship away days to nil. Wigan have scored in both halves of two of such games, yet having conceded in both halves in two of their last three championship trips here, Wigan have a feat ahead to complete their first six-match unbeaten league away run since January 2018. Brentford 1-0. Promotion chasing Fulham's 2-1 win at QPR ended a two-game losing streak, but they've still conceded the first goal in four straight championship matches. 
It's been 15 competitive fixtures since Fulham last saw a draw at Craven Cottage, with two thirds of those fixtures being decided by a one goal margin. Birmingham City's 3 0 defeat in midweek extended their championship winning the streak to eight and was their third game from the last four where they conceded exactly three goals. Three consecutive championship draws on the road has, however, extended their unbeaten away league streak to eight. Could this be another draw for the Blues? 1-1. <clears throat> Don't forget, you can still earn tickets for next season's draw to get your entry fee refunded. Whoever earns the most tickets will get their money back. And if we fill the league, all tickets are entered with one lucky player also getting their money back. There's 20 tickets for adding people to the Facebook group. Click the link in the description below. 20 for sharing this video and 50 for subscribing to my YouTube channel, Rusty's Roundup. Thanks for watching. Hashtag, I didn't forget Jeff.